Across much of Europe, vaccination rates are stalling and resistance is rising. From Rotterdam and Rome to Zagreb and Brussels, the message is the same. Basically because um, we want our freedom. Police estimate 35,000 turned out in the Belgian capital, many opposed to vaccine passports. It's discrimination. People get discriminated because of the QR code, you know. Some of us, we don't want to get vaccinated. So uh, we don't need to explain ourselves because it's our right to uh, decline such a thing. Peaceful protests eventually gave way to ugly clashes. Some demonstrators threw fireworks at police who responded with tear gas and water cannon. The scenes were even worse in the Netherlands, where the government has just imposed a three-week partial lockdown. Case numbers there have reached their highest level since the pandemic began. The government has blamed criminals for the violence. These are not demonstrations. These are attacks on police and firefighters. More than 50 arrests have been made and many more will follow. In Vienna, tens of thousands of people marched against the strictest policy in Europe yet. Mandatory vaccination. Case numbers in Austria are surging, but around one third of people still haven't had the jab. Come February, they won't have a choice. A strict 20-day national lockdown has begun today. These people managed to squeeze in one last outing. We are using today to come to the Christmas market and then we'll stay put. It's a pity with this lockdown, but what can we do? I understand that it's necessary and will show solidarity. A reminder that many people are sending their own message by staying home. Steve Kinane, ABC News.